Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain the things related to the factors affecting the highway design. Okay, so can you see the image? Okay, I am going to explain the things one by one. Okay, what are the important factors while doing the highway design? Okay, how it going to affect? Means what are the considerations we have to uh, take while designing particular type of design elements? Okay, these are highway design elements. Okay, these are just few elements only but uh, these are means uh, very important highway design elements okay if you complete this almost uh, highway design part is 90% gets completed okay so let's go one by one so first one is design speed okay then horizontal alignment after the transition length criteria then vertical alignment after that side distance then embankment height then pavement design very 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 important then cross fall and super elevation after that cross sectional elements nothing but paved shoulder verge carriageway all those things will come and then at grade and grade separated sector sections very very important highway design element okay and then service road also one of the part okay and then surface drainages means normal rcc drain earth and drain okay pipe drains so different type of drains okay that also a part of highway design element then wayside amenities nothing but toll plaza truck lay by like that then safety apparatus okay normal uh, this crash barrier the uh, means vehicle restraint systems nothing but okay so one by one i will go let's start guys please subscribe my channel play and encourage me to do more videos okay so next first one design speed so while doing any type of road first priority will be deciding the design speed so there are codes and standards and uh, you can refer it for national highways it is 100 but in plain terrain based on the terrain also it will differ so according to the speed you have to start the work okay so that, that's the important criteria so based on the terrain you have to decide the speed and type of road also if it is state highway 100 or national highway 100 nowadays expressways are designing with respect to the 150 or 120 speed especially greenfield highways okay an existing highway it will be less means 100 might might be there okay so if it is greenfield way they are going with a higher speed only okay so design speed is very very important highway design element okay so next horizontal alignment okay horizontal alignment first one is minimum horizontal curve radii okay this is entirely dependent on the design speed if you are following 100 speed what will be the minimum curve radius we need to provide that will be around 360 nowadays it is increased to the it means the standards increase to 400 meter okay for four lane road or whatever okay if 100 speed minimum curve radius should be 400 Okay. so that uh, they have given in a higher age manual man irc uh, sp84 they have given okay so you can refer it so first important criteria in urgent element is curve radius after the transition length transition length means how you are going to provide there are three cases rate of change of centrifugal acceleration required by cr and then eb by 2 and uh, as per table of uh, 17 of irc 73 so these are the three criteria we need to take it okay uh, accordingly you have to design uh, provide the transition length okay so then can you see the image okay see curve without spiral transition can you see and then curve with spiral transition how smooth it is okay and uh, main transition provision is for the to contract the super elevation okay to enter vehicle smoothly okay so that's why we have we need to provide the transition length so it is a very very important horizontal I means design element highway design element transition length so you must check with the standards and before submitting to the client okay so transition lengths are very important okay and then vertical alignment in vertical alignment very very important thing is gradient gradient is the main factor affect the power of the vehicle means so if higher gradient power required is more and uh, he the vehicle can't achieve the desired speed nothing but design speed okay there are standard you can see for particular hundred speed 
this ruling gradient is 2.5% limiting is 3.3% and then mountain is 5% and 6% okay so that is the these, these are the values from the code only I copied it okay then after gradient the very very important thing is k value okay so k value is nothing but a relation of the length of curve and side distance okay indirectly oh, if k value gets satisfied automatically side distance will be achieved and the length of curve criteria will also be achieved k is nothing but length of curve by the algebraic difference of the gradient okay l by a okay k equal to l by a okay so these are some standard values for design speed 100 main carriageway for submit curve it is around 73.6 and 135 is ISD for ISD uh, and ultimately that uh, what to say uh, value will get increased so that's why for value curve it is 41.5 so while doing 100 speed the K values must be in this range it should not be less than 41.5 and it should not be less than 73.65 okay so if it is less than it you are deviating the manual so be careful while doing the K value uh, vertical alignment then this is for service road so values are different because speed is reduced okay this k values will get from the l equal to n square by 4.4 and 9 9.6 some for values are there in irc sp 23 okay from the uh, that only we used to get okay so then side distance so, so side distance is uh, directly relation with the k value no need to worry about that no, no need to remember also but uh, if you remember it will be a better means better okay that's it okay these are for the 180 speed okay and then embankment height okay so very very important criteria while doing the vertical alignment yeah you know the maximum grade and minimum grade values and the k values all things you know but how to proceed means how much high height we need to rise based on the existing profile so that can be that can be done with the criteria in irc sp 84 they have given one condition so embankment height of widening or improvement of the existing road and for the construction of new road shall conform to the specifications and standards given in the section 4 section 4 what they have given the top of subgrade shall be kept at least 0.5 meter above the general ground level for no overtopping sections overtopping sections mean nothing but this is a flood uh, affected uh, areas okay so that is the one so embankment height criteria is very very important you can refer this uh, section 4 okay the main thing is the at least 0.5 meter above the general ground level okay top of subgrade not uh, bottom of subgrade okay 0.5 and then 0.5 meter subgrade then above whatever the criteria means uh, means uh, GSB all layers will come at least uh, means approximately 1 to 1.5 meter height we need to rise okay to from the existing ground level okay so that is the important criteria embankment height and then um, one of the important thing payment design payment design we have to do for main carriageway and service road both we have to do separately because uh, in service road no need to provide uh, that much uh, uh, higher uh, thicknesses because MSA will be less normally we used to consider 10 MSA like that for service road but main carriageway we have to calculate based on the traffic data and one more thing toll plus also we need to calculate the uh, we need to evaluate payment design okay that also one thing i haven't mentioned it but payment design you have to do for these three sections okay separately okay based on the different msc okay and i have prepared a means a playlist also for the rigid payment design okay you can have a look okay one next one is cross fall and super elevation cross fall is nothing but camber okay transversal slope Okay, not longitudinal slope. Longitudinal slope is gradient, transversal slope is cross fall. Okay, in this direction. Okay. Okay, cross fall. Cross fall standards are like this. Description, carriageway including paved shoulder. For flexible payment, it should be 2.5%. For rigid, 2%. Okay. For earthen shoulder, it always 
0.5% greater than the camber okay whatever we are providing and then super elevation very very important topic okay so while applying any means uh, uh, mnc companies you must have a uh, look over the uh, super elevation uh, nodes and thing you must be aware okay how we are going to apply okay so can you see here so can you see this normal camber and then outer edge raised to zero percent then outer edge raised to 2.5 percent like this okay then it will achieve to the total okay e, e percent whatever okay see a transition it should be zero okay can you see yes. rotation outer carriage okay. after that at curve only we need to achieve the entire su entire superlation value from zero to e, e value and then from normal camber to zero okay so that is we need to means we have to understand the how the super elevation is applied and you have to check the cross sections while doing the design after applying any super elevation uh, in boot or uh, in uh, open roads whatever you have to check the cross sections whether they are rotating properly or not so that's why super elevation is a very very important highway design element okay so because of that only the means uh, uh, drainage issues and whatever means vehicle can achieve the speed okay so that's why it is very important a design element okay so next cross sectional elements can you see image cross sectional elements so median carriageway and then pivot shoulder hard uh, earth and shoulder means hard shoulder nothing but okay, embankment okay toe line okay. okay so these values should be as per manual okay and the tappers also should be as per manual okay so try to uh, means uh, don't take independent decision okay you, have, you must follow the codes otherwise independent engineer will comment so that's why the you have to follow the standards and prepare the line mode or whatever in templates according to the standards and standard cross sections provided and tappers also for median 1 in 50 and carriage 1 in 25 or 1 in 30 those things also you need to discuss with your manager okay then only you have to take a decisions okay then at grade and grade separated intersections very very important criteria while using the vertical alignment vertical alignment not only vertical alignment because uh, uh, if you design the road itself it won't uh, satisfy everything so you have to design the junctions also to make uh, maneuvers easily okay movement okay. so there are irc a special publication 41 and then irc 92 Okay, grade separated intersections this and then major and minor junctions you have to identify major junctions will be whatever the junctions uh, creating with NH or SH or MDR okay some higher ODR district so if the width of the minor road is more than 7.5 meter that also one criteria but um, majorly type based on the type of road we used to decide whether it is major or minor junction minor junctions will be for the village roads only okay so wherever major junctions are there we need to provide the grade separated intersections nothing but vups cup or uh, lvup okay to move to to make access controlled for the our highway design highway so these are also important highway design elements then vehicle underpasses or uh, cattle underpasses while doing design of this you must be aware about the clearance and frl values from the bridge department okay so from bridge department you have to take the uh, finished road levels okay they will calculate it based on the type of structure okay so whatever the clearance 5.5 .5 meter and the type of structure if it is a gutter type some 1.1 meter like that so total around 6.6 .6 okay like that and uh, some camber correction all things you have to evaluate and accordingly you have to fix the frl okay so fixing frl will be very important thing in grade separated intersections and uh, normal grades junctions mainly turning moment 
okay turning but whether vehicle can move it or not okay so that can be you that can you can evaluate using the auto turn software whatever okay um, means uh, various softwares are there okay that can be vehicle path also sweat path analysis that also you can use while designing the grid at, at grid junctions okay some standard layouts are there that also uh, enough okay service roads service roads main thing entry and exit ramps okay as per the arcsp 41 and then width should be 7 meter 7.5 meter like that after that service road profiles also very 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 important okay so be aware while doing the profiles 